inner battle. Now I'm standing in front of this cannon right now, and this cannon was used in in war times and in battle. And one particular war was the Civil War. Now what made the Civil War so bad was it was a war inside the country. It was brother against brother, family and family and friends and friends. And 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 so it was a destroying each other and taking taking a lot of people's lives. And it was a war to, in, in order to set certain people free, to set people out of bondage, to deliver them. And even today, we're all still walking out of bondage and, and being set free. Well, the battle I really want to discuss is the inner battle, the battle that we war between our spirit man and our flesh. You know, this is where we wrestle with. And so many times we want to cast the blame on, on a, someone else when it may be the what's going behind that person see our flesh wants to do things its way and our spirit man wants to do things God's way and so there's a constant battle in there and the only way we're gonna be able to be set free is to help that spiritual man listen to it and follow its commands that's following Jesus you know the Bible even talks about we wrestle not with flesh and blood but with spirit spiritual warfare and I'm asking each and every one of us, we need to start looking at ourselves. And are we actually fighting the right fight? Are we fighting with our neighbors? Are we fighting with our friends and family? Are we fighting what's behind the friends and family and the neighbors? Do you ever think about maybe we should pray for them that we have issues with? Or maybe we should try to walk with them, show hum humility, uh, encourage one another. See, this battle ended up in a lot of bloodshed. You know, Jesus died on the cross and was some bloodshed. But he opened the avenue. And just like this war was fought over a hundred years ago, people today are walking free because of that battle. Well, let me tell you something. We can walk free if we will take care of the battle inside of us to address the issues inside of us. And that will deliver us from bondage and to set us free and help us to grow closer to God. So the next time you're aggravated with maybe someone in line in front of you or maybe that car behind you, maybe we don't need to be fussing at them, but praying and maybe setting something maybe behind them or in them or maybe in us and set us free. But Carly, only the word will set you free. And if we can start winning this battle inside of us, we're going to have a much growing, better, and free life. Well, I hope you guys have a super, super good day.